everyone here with the storyline for the episode that aired last night. In this episode, Johan was shocked to read the letter he received. He quickly crumpled the letter and put it in his pocket. Two years ago, he believed that no one knew about his action except his lawyer, and he couldn't fathom why his lawyer would reason him without a valid reason. Meanwhile, Sarah witnessed Johan's shock when he read the letter. She mistakenly thought that it was a letter from a woman who might be pregnant with Johan's child. She had no idea that Johan was responsible for the death of her biological daughter, Songhee. Another storyline unfolded with the Jung, who came across photos of Anna when she was still a baby. The Jung felt immense aggrieved because Johan had raised Anna well, especially since Anna grew up without a mother. The Jung promised to repay Johan's kindness. Johan then asked the Jung to divorce Jaeguk. Before the Jung could answer, she had to leave because Jaeguk called her. Jaeguk wanted to meet her and go on a short vacation. However, the Jung refused. Claiming she felt tired. In reality, she didn't feel tired. She simply didn't want to spend time with Jaeguk. Instead, she chose to go with Johan. Luckily, Hale arrived at the right time and replaced the Jung to accompany Jaeguk on the short vacation. During this time, the Jung reunited with Johan and Sao Song Yi and Doksu's belongings that Johan had kept for the past two years. They both agreed to keep Anna's true parentage a secret from Jaeguk and Seran because they realized that Jaeguk was just as dangerous as Saran. To protect Anna, the Jung contemplated completing her contract with Jaeguk. Ultimately, she wanted to separate from Jaeguk as soon as possible. Later that night, Jaeguk gave Johan a final warning through words, urging him to stop spending time with the Jung. If Johan ignored this warning, Jaeguk threatened to take action. On the same day, Johan was very happy because Hale informed him that the Jung and Jaeguk were only in a contract marriage. In addition to that, he, the Jung, and Anna went to the amusement park together. However, there was a problem. Jaeguk had given his final verbal warning to Johan the previous night, and when Johan ignored the warning, someone mysteriously stabbed him in the stomach with a knife. Even though the Jung had been wavering before the incident because she truly wanted to reconcile with Johan. Okay, everyone. That's the storyline for this time and thank you for watching my video.